yes, 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 yes. Hi, I'm Jorgos and I'm a postdoctoral researcher. And I'm Signe, I'm a PhD student and today we'll show you a scanning tunneling microscope and how it can be used to study the surface of graphite. So, come and join us to the lab. We first need to prepare our graphite sample. In order to measure, we need our sample placed in a sample holder, like the one you see here. In order for us to scan effectively, we need to have a flat surface, so we need to remove the top layers by cleaving. For that purpose, we use regular scotch tape. Here you can see the removed layers. We now just need to place the graphite back into the sample holder. Secure it. And we have a sample ready to measure. Follow me and I will show you to the scanning tunneling microscope. The most important part of a scanning tunneling microscope is the tip which you can see here in the middle. To prepare for scanning, we cut this tip to make it as sharp as possible. Ideally, it should just be one atom sitting at the tip apex. We put the sample back in and now you can see the tip close to the graphite. To protect our scanning tunneling microscope from any external noise, we surround it by foam. Then we can turn on the scanning tunneling microscope and we can approach the tip to the surface from the computer. Then we're ready to scan. We can actually see atoms here, but it might be a bit difficult for an untrained eye. Therefore, we show you an even better image. Here you can clearly see the carbon atoms in the graphite surface. 